Hey there! I'm so excited to be sharing with you a little bit more about the Mary Kay brand and culture. This is like my favorite thing to talk about. Um, so some things you might not know about your Mary Kay products is that they're cruelty free, they're made in the USA, and they're hypoallergenic, which means that they're safe for even the most sensitive skin. That is pretty impressive. All our Mary Kay products are meant to work simultaneously too. So you can use a product from a different line within Mary Kay and it's still going to complement um, and be effective. That's incredible. Something you might not know about the products that you're using if you're like, Nicole, I have a great skincare routine or at least like you think you do. Here's the thing, when you're using a cleanser from one brand and a moisturizer from another, those aren't necessarily made to work together. So your skin might feel good, but you're really not getting the best effect and, and the best results that you could be getting if you were using products that were made specifically to work together. Um, Mary Kay Ash was a real person. So Mary Kay Ash was a real woman in the 1950s who worked in corporate America. And what happened is that she was basically told that she was never gonna get a position that was higher than what she was at. And she knew that she was worth more. She knew that she could do more. She knew that she deserved more. And so she left and she actually wrote a book about her experience and everything that had happened, um, which actually ended up becoming her business model. Um, so she actually took what she wrote and she turned that into a business, which is incredible. She invested her life savings, $5,000, to creating Mary Kay. Um, and so Mary Kay, as the brilliant woman she was, chose cosmetics for two very important reasons. One, she knew that cosmetics make women feel confident, right? Think about when your hair and your makeup were on point, your outfit was looking fly, and you were like, man, I feel good, right? Like, I feel like I can conquer the world. When a woman feels beautiful, she's confident, and there's nothing as wonderful as a confident woman. So Mary Kay knew that. She also chose it because it's recession proof. There are only three things that have never receded in a recession, and that's alcohol, tobacco, and cosmetics. You're literally washing the product off at the end of the day. So she was a very brilliant woman. She also believed in praising people to success. This is my favorite thing about Mary Kay, and I don't know if it's just like my mom heart that like really resonates with it, or if it's just the woman in me that, you know, you just long to feel that like appreciation. But I love that she praised women to success, and she brought that into the culture of the company. So there are monthly, quarterly, yearly prizes, and I'm not talking like a sleep mask or a manicure set, I'm talking diamonds and amazing home appliances, purses. Some of the favorite things I have in our house, I've won through Mary Kay. Like um, my favorite knife and cutting board set, I would have never spent $200 on something like that, but I was gifted it with Mary Kay and I've had it for probably like six years and is still like brand new and I love it. And I loved, I would have never spent that money on myself. But Mary Kay gifted it because she believed in praising people and rewarding them for doing well. I've gotten some gorgeous jewelry, some beautiful bags that I would never purchase for myself. And I know I'm not the only one out there. Um, so I love that she really loved spoiling um, her women and making them feel appreciated. Um, there are two sides to this company that you might know about, but you might not. And the first side is the sales, which really I think of more as sharing because the products are so great that they sell themselves. So really all you're doing is sharing. You're sharing by sending out samples. You're sharing by making a video. You're sharing by gathering around a table when, when we're able to do that. Um, you can share virtually in, in a Facebook party. Um, you can do a one-on-one -on -one video chat. Um, there are so many amazing ways to share this product and I love um, that, that it's so versatile to fit whatever lifestyle you may be living. Um, and then there's leadership. So this is a side that people don't necessarily know that much about, um, but you can add people to your team and then you start earning um, 
greater commissions, a four, nine, 13% commission. And that commission doesn't come from the people that you were adding. That commission comes from Mary Kay corporate. They're basically saying, hey, thank you so much for investing in other women. Thank you so much for taking your time to really teach and mentor and share about our company and our culture with other people. Here's a bonus for you. That's incredible. Tell me another company that is going to praise someone like that and I'll still be waiting here for you, right? Um, so I love that there is so much versatility within this company and I love that it was created by a woman who really understood that. Um, so out of everything that I just shared, I know it's a lot of information, but I wanna know what was your favorite thing that you just learned about the Mary Kay branding culture? Because I think that it's so fun when we can kind of share with each other what we've learned and what we love about it. So let me know and I cannot wait to hear what you think.